the starting point for action. In every country that has managed to have substantial gains in eliminating violence against women, that country has laws. So for the countries that don't have laws in place, you are at a double disadvantage. Ending violence against women and girls, you need an enabling framework. In order for you to have a functioning law, you've got to have resources on the ground in terms of infrastructure, in terms of um, equipment, and in terms of personnel. You know, the police need to be capacitated to be able to go after perpetrators of violence. Do they have enough vehicles? When people go to the police station to report incidents of violence against women, will there be enough people staffing the victim support unit? Is there a victim support unit in every district? Is there a victim support unit in every police station? Do we have enough courts? Do we have enough magistrates? Okay. One of the biggest challenges that I have encountered is that uh, people say, what's the point of reporting, nothing ever gets done. But by not reporting, nothing would definitely get done. I would encourage Malawians to say, no matter how many times your complaint fails to reach the right ears, keep complaining, keep following up. Um, because the moment you stop, it's not just about you, it's about all the other women, all the other people that are suffering the same kind of abuse. If you don't report, the next person's concerns don't get redressed. So no matter how impossible it seems, we've often been told that, you know, there's so much corruption, um, people are given bail. If you believe there's corruption going on, also go and report on that corruption. Be a whistleblower. Don't just stop at reporting the violence. Report those people that stand in your way, even if it means consequences for you. Because unless you are bold enough to take that step to say, I will make sure that I will take my complaint as far as possible, nothing will ever get done about violence against women.